and welcome back. This is Bala Scuba with more Let's Play The Secret Monkey Island Special Edition. I am joined, as always, by Captain Guybrush Threepwood. When we last left off, we got ourselves a boat and a mutinous crew. Hooray. But we do have a new area. I have remembered, because I did forget, thanks for the reminder, I have forgotten to... Show off the old school graphics from time to time. I'll try to do that more often than I have been. Uh, the reason that I haven't been doing it is primarily because there's no voice acting in the old school graphics. So if I go back to that, then it silences them. And so I want to let the voice actor shine a little bit. All right, let's get this underway. First thing that we do whenever we enter a new area, in any point and click really, is pick up everything you can. So first thing I spot is this feather bed. That does not mean that you cannot pick up the ink. In fact, you want that ink. Uh, can I do anything with the bed? I probably can't pick that up. It's made. Nice. It must be dealer prep. Of course. Dealer prep it is. Uh, anything in the cabinet? It seems to be locked up tight. Of course it is. Anything in the drawer? Now, drawers are kind of weird in this game, and I honestly, I don't like it. Usually, in a point and click, when you open up a drawer, it'll just show you what's inside, but this game's a little too old school for that, so you have to look in the drawer. There's an old dusty book inside. Let's see what it is. And we have a book, and they don't really tell us what the book is. Is that something? No? That's nothing? Okay. Uh, we still have quite a bit of stuff here. Stan's previously owned vessels. I won't shut up until I've made you a deal. And he's Stan. never shuts up. Ever. Ever. Uh, we might as well look at some of the things that I have while I'm here and accidentally clicked on that somehow. Uh, what are, what's the pamphlet? It's called How to Get a Leg Up in Treasure Hunting. And that's it, apparently. There, he, he doesn't want to read it. <laughs> what about the leaflet? It's called How to Get Ahead in Navigating. Uh, okay. We might as well turn around for this. Since I'm, I'm having you read. Look at the brochure. It's called How to Arm Yourself in Sea Battle. I'm going to go with a gun and a sword. Those usually work out well. Feather pen. It looks like a ballpoint feather pen. Uh, what the hell's a ballpoint feather pen? That doesn't make any damn sense. Well, I don't see anything special about it. Nothing special about the ink. Okay, what about further down? What do we got? The dusty book. It says Captain's Log. March 10th. He has to turn around. First mate Toothrot and I have been searching what? for Monkey Island for over a month with no success. Toothrot? The directions we purchased on Melee proved to be a recipe, not a map as we had believed. What? Ah, directions, I get it. Captain's Log, March 12th. I wish Toothrot would take a bath. He does not sm sound like a good smelling person. Captain's Log, March 17th. I wish Toothrot would stop snoring. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a good person to be around at all, really. Captain's Log, March 23rd. Toothrot is really starting to get on my nerves. I figure it's only a matter of time before we come to blows. Or you pull out his rotten teeth? Just a thought. Captain's Log, April 2nd. As a gesture to restore our friendship, Toothrot offered to fix dinner tonight. That's kind of nice. Captain's Log, April 3rd. This is a long Captain's Log. I don't know how we did it, but we've arrived at Monkey Island. Trademark! Wait, what? Both Toothrot and I passed out from the soupy fixed last night. When we awoke, Monkey Island was sitting off the bow. Interesting. Captain's Log, April 4th. Toothrot and I filled the rowboat with supplies and are ready to set out to Monkey Island. Still trademarked. We are both excited at the prospect of being the first civilized people to learn the secret of Monkey Island. What do you mean civilized? Wait, no! I'm Captain's the Log, April I'm supposed 5th. to be the first. We had Not to you turn guys. around and return to the ship. Toothrot forgot to go to the bathroom before we left. Wait, what? We'll set out again tomorrow. And that's the last entry. Go in the ocean, Toothrot. What the hell? Uh, oh, there's a chest. Hey, I can do something with the chest. Anything inside the chest? Look inside. It looks like an empty chest. Oh, thank you so much for your help. So very much. And here is my mutinous crew. Whoa, I can use the mouse wheel? That's crazy. Give mutinous crew. Ah, that's funny. Okay, so... Yeah, close them. Close them good. That doesn't seem to work. Yeah, I didn't think so. I know I could use the mouse wheel to cycle through that. That's cool. Okay, so why is everybody naked except for Carla? 
There are three degrees of nakedness here. Why is this one the most and this one the least? Just a thought. Are you guys going to help me at all, mutinous crew? Probably not. Yeah, what's up? Hey guys, what's happening? Beat it, guy brush. That didn't seem to help me out at all. Small talk. I hear the weather's pretty nice over by Monkey Island. Surely this will work. Nice try, guy brush, but no banana. Oh, I want a banana. Now I want a banana, damn it. Yes, let's try threatening them. Guybrush is so good at threatening. I'm gonna give you mutineers five seconds to come to your senses. Then, I'm gonna start kicking some butt. Wait, what? Excuse me, Guybrush. Does the word keelhole mean anything to you? No. Oh, they defined it for me. To haul under the keel of a ship as punishment or torture. Fair enough. What happens if I click the definition? I see your point. Thanks. He, he picks the other one anyway. So, hooray, mutineers. Yeah, anything anything I can do? Is there anything I can do to get you guys to help me? Probably not. Uh, excuse me, guy brush. You're blocking the sun. Wait, that is clearly not true. You can see clearly that I am on the left. The shadows are coming this way. You guys are blocking my sun. Is it different in the old school? The no, you can kind of see the shadow here on the cannon. Still going this way. You guys are a bunch of liars. Oh, I got a new item. Didn't even notice that. There we go. Bookmark. Dude, it has nothing to say about the bookmark. <laughs> Did I just not click it? It's the top of a cereal box used as a bookmark. Apparently I didn't click it, so it's the top of a cereal box. Didn't that, there was one more thing for me to say, wasn't there? Oh. I think I'll be getting back to tending the ship. Yeah, and they have nothing more to say, apparently. So, well, let's look at the cannon. Cannons are always good for shooting stuff. I don't stuff. see anything special about it. It's a cannon. You don't see anything special about a cannon? Fine. Oh. Let's go up the rope ladder. It's up there. Ooh. A flag. What a fine looking flag. Shivers me timbers just looking at it. Really? I don't think you said that right at all. Let's grab it. It is something we can grab after all, so let's grab it. It, it, it has to be useful if you can grab it. Okay, so we came out from here. Uh, I don't think there's anything up this way. There isn't, because the camera didn't change. So, there isn't. So you might think, oh, that's it. I don't know what to do. Well, you'd be wrong on both counts. You have to go down here. There's a little hatch. You can kind of see it. It's behind the crew. Um, it, it's kind of hidden. I, I guess they kind of expected you to know how a ship is designed, more or less. Is that LeChuck? They threw an axe at him. Eh, he kind of deserved it. Uh, let's go through the door first, and we can go through the second little hatch later. And we have found the kitchen. It's a giant cooking pot in it. Anything inside? I'm kind of hungry. It's like your run of the mill ship's cooking pot. Okay, nothing about special about that one. What about this pot? It's about the same size as my head. Oh, I'm calling a second helmet. Let's get it. Anything else around here? There's red hot fire. Nice and hot. Don't think I can pick that up, though. Open up the cupboard. Ooh, cereal. Mmm. I loved this stuff when I was a kid. Is it Captain Crunch? I like the way it chewed up the roof of your mouth. Yeah, it's Captain Crunch. I never had Captain Crunch as a kid. I I've heard the rumors about it chewing up the top of your mouth, but I wouldn't know, and it kind of makes me not want to try it. So, I don't know if that's true or not. Let's pick it up. And, well, I think we actually need to open this. I mean, they I don't know where this bookmark came from, because... We have all the cereal boxes here, but I think we need to open up the cereal. Great! A toy prize inside. Oh, nice prize. Uh, look at it. This is no prize. It's a small key with a finely engraved monkey on it. A key, you say? If only we had something on the ship that was locked. Oh, we do! I'll see if I can do anything with that. But first, we need to head down here. Down here. Thank you. Guybrush. 
And here we find treasure chests. And a leaky hull. Just a little bit leaky. Not They're too just old rusty chests. Can I open them? They're all rusted shut. Uh, what about the trunks? They're just old rusty trunks. Uh, probably the same then. What about the kegs? Are those rusted shut too, Guybrush? They look like kegs of gunpowder. Oh. Well then, pick it up. Will that work, or do I have to open it? Let's try picking it up. Wow, gunpowder! You just said I it was. Take some. Yes, okay, thank you. Gunpowder. You have anything to say about the gunpowder? Or the cereal? Mmm. I loved this stuff when I was a kid. Yeah, you already said that. I like the way it chewed up the roof of your mouth. Of course you do. Looks explosive. Yes, gunpowder tends to be like that. Let's pick up the rope. I saw that rope. <laughs> rope should be infinitely useful in a game like this. Open up the chest and look inside There's the chest. Very fine wine in here. Let's drink in front of the crew. I'll grab it. Show them what it means to be the captain. I get to drink the wine. You have to watch. I don't think they let you do that. It's what I would do though. All right, so that's pretty much the full ship. I think that is everything that I need to grab. So let's just go back to captain's quarters. Uh, you know, captain's bed, captain's quarters. And we should be able to open up the cabinet now. I mean, we have something locked. We got a key. Makes perfect sense to me. But I don't know for sure. It seems to be locked up tight. Ah, uh, of course. You gotta use the key uh, in the cabinet. Not on the cabinet, just in. Looks like you didn't really do much with it. It looks like a very heavy metal chest. Okay, well then, just open it. Don't grab it. Or you could grab it anyway. Man, that's heavy. Filled, no doubt, with golden jewels. Of course. We know far too much about this game so far to expect any sort of good treasure in this treasure chest now, don't we? Hey, look, a piece of paper. Yeah, what do you expect? A piece of paper. And some cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon sticks? Why would I need cinnamon sticks? You're not going to say anything about them? I don't see anything special about it. Cinnamon on... There's something very special about cinnamon on a ship like this. What about the wine? Anything special about the wine? I'm no enologist, but judging from the deep red color... Enologist? This is a very fine wine. Really? The color is all... Wow. Like, I'm not wine connoisseur. <laughs> but I know better than to judge it by its color. <laughs> uh, anything about the rope? It's a giant piece of rope. Thank you. I couldn't have figured that out by myself. What about the piece of paper? Directions to Monkey Island. Holy crap. Preheat pot to 450 degrees. Add the following ingredients. How do you preheat a pot? One cinnamon stick. Four leaves of mint. One human skull. Pressed. Tasty. One squirt squid ink. That's Two edible, actually. Two pints monkey blood. Mm. Mm. One live Whoa. chicken. Three ounces brimstone. Brimstone. One or more of the following. Pyridoxine hydrochloride. Tasty. Zinc oxide. Mm. Yellow eight. Mine mononitrate. And BHA. Let bubble over a low flame until thickened. Serves crew of four. Now, should you want to, you can write this down and I'll show you how all of them compare, but I'll probably forget them as we go along. Uh, I'm... We have to make this. <laughs> that's that's the directions to Monkey Island. And it worked for the last crew, so why won't it work for me? Uh, brimstone is, is sulfur, by the way. Uh, the rest of it, the, the pyridoxine hydrochloride, zinc oxide, yellow 8, mine, mononitrate, and BHA. I assume that they're in the... I don't know. What do we have? Maybe one of them's in the cereal? That's like the best I can do. I, I don't know. Zinc oxide, maybe. Uh, but let's go make us whatever the hell that was. Um, so this is pretty much my opportunity to dump a whole bunch of stuff into the pot and, and clear up my inventory a bit. This is what it looks like back in the day. Oh yeah, that's Captain Crunch. Not here, though. Not so much. <laughs> All right, so uh, we probably need the map. We don't need the minutes. That doesn't seem to work. Oh, apparently I do need the minutes. Hey, chicken! They did say we needed a live chicken. Will a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle do? 
About time I got rid of this worthless artifact. Apparently it will do. Uh, he won't let you throw anything that's important. Like, obviously, the pieces of eight. They wouldn't have given us 174 extra, would they? So they won't let me throw it away. No way! I worked too hard for this money. I worked hard for the money? Really? You got shot out of a cannon. Once. What about the map? I paid good money for this. I'll hold on to it. He's very peculiar about his money. Uh, minutes, they said I need mint. I have breath mints. That surely will do. Good thing I've got a million of these. Yes, you do have an infinite supply, as you can see. They're still here. Uh, throw a t-shirt in. I don't know if a t-shirt fulfills one of these things, but I'm going to throw it in anyway. Staple remover. No staples to be removed. Won't let me throw it in. Interesting. Get rid of the other cotton t-shirt. Maybe there's BHA or something in that. I don't know what BHA is. I don't remember. The note. Doesn't seem to work. Can't use the note. Get rid of the business card. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of hazardous stuff in there. Compass I'm going to need. The books I'm going to need. The feather pen I do not need. Squid ink. Just a drop. Yeah, just a drop. The book I need... Bookmark I'm, I'm going to need. Wait, can I get rid of the book? I can. We never have to listen to that again. Bookmark. That doesn't seem to work. Can't lose the bookmark. Human skull pressed. In goes the Jolly Roger. Pot I need. A uh, key? I suppose this is supposed to be the monkey blood. I don't know. Throw that in now. I don't need it anymore. I already opened it up. Put the cereal in there too. Mm, this is going to be good. Don't know what part the cereal fulfills, to be honest with you. Gunpowder will fulfill the brimstone. Sulfur is one of the main ingredients in gunpowder, along with uh, saltpeter and charcoal. I think there's one more thing, but it doesn't come to mind right now. Sulfur is in it, though. That I do know. Uh, rope, I'm obviously going to need for something. Throw the wine in. That should be enough. Maybe that's the monkey blood. Wine, sure. And then, like they said, cinnamon sticks. Yikes! Getting dizzy. <laughs> Overcome by the fumes and stench, Guybrush quickly loses consciousness. 